the risk of being wrong has real impacts on people, their families, and their community. As someone who grew up in an inner city and benefited greatly from the work of volunteers, nonprofits, the church, when I go around this country and I see communities that still lack the resources that I'm able to have now in my life for me and my child, it is important to me that we're able to do everything that we can to find solutions. And I think data and learning and evidence is key to helping these organizations find solutions and for the government to target its resources where we know it's having an impact. I am very intrigued by the work of Crisis Text Line, which is why we have their uh, founder and CEO, Nancy Loveland, here with us today. She is, to me, a great example of an organization that has reached scale through data, so not just using it as uh, a tool or an asset of the organization for learning, but also bringing uh, that learning and approach to the broader field. Without data, all we have is anecdotes. And if we are only relying on anecdotes to make policy decisions, then we're not affecting the best policy decisions that we can. If we can convince more people to use data, to make it more accessible, to make it more readily available for a public audience, then there's only opens more questions, more research questions, both for policymakers to affect better policy, as well as for researchers to address more and deeper social imbalances. For me, that's the end game, is that can every family in this country afford to live in a place where they can get their children a good education, find decent work, and enjoy a decent quality of life. And until we agree on some targets and some real measures, and then find policies to implement those, I don't think we can be successful in closing the income equality gap in this country.